600,000 feet of Sitka spruce alone is out there among some of the most expensive lumber in the world. And soon, that expensive wood will be turned into beautiful pianos here at the Steinway factory in Long Island City, New York. This family-run company was founded 128 years ago by Henry Steinway. Today, the chairman of the board is his great-grandson, John Steinway. We use so many different types of lumber for their specific properties. One of the main specific woods that we use is maple. It is very hard, close-grained wood. The purpose of using maple is where you want strength. Once a piece of lumber has passed the weeding out process, the next important step is forming the parts of a grand piano. Here, seven husky men are needed to bend 12 to 18 glued pieces of hard rock maple into the classic shape of a grand piano. This process is called rim bending. Rim bending press was designed and built by my great uncle, C.F. Theodore Steinberg. It was a concept of his back in the 1870s to build and launch to the tension's higher, and therefore the power of the piano is larger. When you string a grand piano, you're putting nearly 35,000 pounds of combined tensions on that arch, which is the rim of the grand piano. After all the interior woodwork is completed, the rim becomes a finished piano case. Then the other two major components of the piano are installed. The soundboard, iron plate and strings, and the action. The action consists of all the moving parts and hammers that strike the strings. After the piano has been strung and the action installed, it's wheeled into what's called the pounding room. Here, a specially designed machine pounds on the keyboard, depressing the keys hundreds of thousands of times. This ensures evenness of key response to the virtuoso's touch. in the construction of the piano is called tone regulation. This is not tuning, but the actual adjusting of the resiliency of the wool felt hammers. This is what determines the tone quality of the piano. A highly skilled operation requiring many years of experience. Many of these developments in the piano, which are now more or less standard in every piano throughout the world, were originally designed and built by Steinway and Sons. It takes a full year from step one to the final process, but the ultimate test is in the playing. And I think this one definitely passes the test. And we're here because you asked for it.